You're listening to the Tom Hartman Program. Genetically modified foods end all life on Earth as we know it, or genetically modified organisms in general. Ever heard of Klebsiella planticola? It may well have been the canary in the mine cage, a genetically modified bacteria that could have killed every plant on Earth. Perhaps even worse, most genetically modified food products are not made to increase nutrition or help humanity, but to make plants more resistant to the very pesticide and herbicide chemicals the GMO-making companies also, by incredible coincidence, manufacture and sell all over the world at great profits. And these pesticides and herbicides are generally not so good for humans or any other life form. Could, uh, yeah, so here we have this... um, this amazing thing. And and last week, what got me going on this, last week uh, Monsanto announced that they're rolling out a new genetically modified uh, organism, a new type of soybean that has uh, high levels or higher levels of omega-3 fatty acids in it. Omega-3 fatty acids, uh, one of the set of fatty acids that replicate brain tissue that are necessary for nervous system development and things like this. If this is a high-quality fatty acid, and if it were existing in the same balance that it does, for example, in fish oil, this might be a good thing. Um, Whether this is a good thing or not is probably going to be debated for a long, long time. There's only been one study ever done on the consequences of humans eating genetically modified foods, and uh, the consequence of that was rather interesting. Paul, I'll tell you about that in a minute. Paul Bailey is the science correspondent for Reason Magazine, the uh, libertarian publication Reason.com, the website. He's also the author of a book on this topic, is, is, uh, The uh, Liberation Biology, The Moral and Scientific Case for the Biotech Revolution. Uh, Ron, welcome to the show. Uh, I guess I'm welcome. My first name is not Paul, it's Ron, and I've never listened to such a, a, a mass amount of misinformation in one uh, paragraph in my entire life. All right. Well, start take it apart. <laughs> I, are you... F- a couple of... Uh, That's completely... I'm, false. I'm trying to... Do- I'm the... the do- working for me. There we go. Ron, oh, he did it? Okay, he caught it. Uh, Ron, I'm sorry, we, we're just, uh, we're not going to handle that kind of language on the air here. Um, no, I'm not uh, bleeping mad. Um, so, 